Craig Hipster, you got me out here trying to freeze me to death today, aren't you? It's pretty cold. I'm telling you what, but it don't matter because there's a big old crappie out here. Now, you remember what happened last year when we made our annual trek? Hold that. That's a good one, ain't it? Watch him. That's just an average one down here. If you have not come down here, Kentucky Barker Lakes to fish for crappie, so I don't care if you're from Florida, southeastern Asia, or Brazil. Somewhere. You need to come to these lakes and fish. Well, I'll tell you what, we could talk about it or we can just go do it. Let's go do it. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. <laughs> Forty-five degree water temperature. Just right. Whew. I like that north wind. What about you? Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Gotta love it. There he is. Uh -huh. A big, big monster yeller or gill. Or look at that boy. Uh, that's what I'm uh, talking yeller. about. There's a yeller. Now that's what you drove down here for. That's a big one. <laughs> There's a good fish. There it is. Buffalo. Crappy, son. I'm crappie fishing. It's going to be a black crappie and it's going to weigh close to two pounds. Now that's just not right. Well, I'm just guessing it might be a white bass. What, what did I tell oh you that was? Oh my water? goodness, look what a fish. Look at that hoff cat. Now see, that's what I'm talking about. 15, 16 inches? Gee, Merry Christmas. Trained professional. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we was going to keep these for your wife's live well lid first. Time. Oh no. You have a good day, buddy. Hey, I'm going right. <laughs> to. You guys can deal with them. I'll tell you, you what. You this one for me? I'm getting tired of netting. Oh, All I do is got to be eight pounds. That right there is full oh, ground. Oh, look at there. Oh, yeah, baby. We'll put them in that. We've done throw back, what, four? Ah, <laughs> three. You just throw them in their hole. I'd be glad, please. Okay. You got another one? Hey, listen, I got my bite down now. Okay. You just keep catching them. I'll keep taking them off too. Oh, I'm telling you what. Looky there. I love Kentucky Lake. I do too. That's why I live here. You know what? In all seriousness, folks, if you have not come down here to Kentucky Lake and tried this is you can catch crappie pretty much year round, can't you? Oh, they've never quit. No more fish going back in the water today. My wife would shoot me. I want to oh, he's got, I'm talking hot grease tonight, baby. Oh, we're just now getting warmed up. I was just trying to let you catch the easy ones. <laughs> yeah, I got ice jumped out of my pole, went everywhere. You got something for me to net? Oh, oh I'm crappie fishing, I'll dude. You, uh, I'm you crappie just keep fishing. on catching them. I'm fine. I know. I'm fine with you catching them. That's number, what, 48? 75. <laughs> 75. <laughs> They're not really hitting that hard. It's just kind of a weight thing, you know. The other day, they, that line had jumped when they hit it. But now today, it's kind of like they're just that funny? sucking it in. It's got to do with barometer or something, they say. Uh, if they won't buy it, they'll buy it. Oh, yeah. Look here, he's already eating. Look yeah, I tell you what. Tell you what, get him right a, there. Give him a big fat side fillet. Oh, oh, oh he's talking. net it. Oh. I'll let you net it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Uh, there we go. I hate fishing. I hate the fish. Everybody called me today and said, God, the weather's horrible and it's cloudy and it's cold. And you're going to go out there and you ain't going to be able to catch nothing. You're going to be embarrassed. And I said, eh, they always buy it if you're tough enough to go out there, you know. I don't need ears. They got to eat. They ain't no different than me and you. For years, you've been coming down here. Mom made all these for me. And to be real honest, the supply, or she couldn't keep up with the demand of people wanting them. So I hooked up with Punisher, and I told them I wasn't going to okay them until they made them to suit me. And they made me a bunch up. And man, I'll tell you what, they done such a good job on them jigs. We nicknamed that the no excuse bait because if you ain't catching none, you ain't got no excuses if you got that on. What kind of line are you using? This is a four pound high visibility vicious. 
is what I use because when I fish this hair jig, I am a line watcher. And mm -hmm. out here, if you don't have this high vis line, you'll get a headache staring trying to see it, you know? I need a net. Oh, my! <laughs> <laughs> no. I told you the vis Don't let him go! Don't let him go! Don't let him go! Don't let him go! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Where'd you catch? Oh, my goodness, you gotta hold him up. Now that, that that's fish right there will weigh two and a quarter, two and a half. Look at that. That's one of the bigger fish. You know what that fish is doing up here? What, eating? Bedding. You're kidding me. No, fish bedding. That fish is every bit of 18 inches. Pretty good. I thought you caught him back. You want me to turn it loose, you say? No, I don't turn it loose. Now look at that, we done. We done turned loose six or seven, and we've already got a live well full since we started caping. I probably catch hundreds of them a year out of this lake. This lake is eat up with them crappies that big. People just don't catch a lot of them. You know, when a crappie in this lake gets that big, do you realize what it's survived? I mean, do you know how many baits it's passed up oh, to yeah. get that big, you know? So when them crappies get that big right there, they get really, really spooky and really, really smart. And that's where I think staying away from them and casting, you know, you got a lot of people down here at Spider Rig and they pull flies and they do that, sit on top of them. They catch a lot of crappies, but they don't catch a lot of big ones. And I think them big ones are kind of like a big smallmouth. Mm. They're real skitterish and real shy and they, you know, you can spook them easy. And...